Alright guys, so we are going to be taking a look at a new character teaser, Flora Belt. So I'm just going to be on their Twitter page to take a look at this. So it's whole whopping two minutes, so let's kind of see. Uh, we can just actually make this bigger. I think that's good, right? Begins on a okay. morning. All right. In the soft glow of the rain. I'm just gonna say this right now, I think she's gonna be in the Wilder faction just because of how colorful like th they're displaying this character. That's how I see all the uh, Wilder characters, they are pretty vibrant characters like the overall design and whatnot, so. Okay. Her gentle touch as soft as the morning dew. So she, she that's a character and then there's those three. So I gotta take a look what they are in a bit. Flora Bell twirls with the flower wand, singing loudly. Oh, is that part of her kids? From the dark and rainy night. Rediscovering the hues of the Every yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Singing loudly, the awakened flowers enliven the dark forest. Definitely a good character to release during spring season, for sure. And the most glorious spring has arrived. It's, oh, is that? Oh, that's it. But we still have more. So I assume they're going over the character. Oh, there's the gameplay showcase. Okay. Let's see, let's see what they're cooking out here. Okay, I see those three again. So it looks like it's past part of her kids. So skill overgrown. Okay. Yeah, it does look like that's part of her kid, so she can spawn those. I, I gotta check out what they're called actually. So this one is a tiny sharp shooter. So they are attacking the enemy. And this one looks like the ultimate. Pounding blow. <laughs> okay. It's gonna be a ranged character, what I'm looking at. Okay. Ooh. Oh, she's gonna be available on the 16th, huh? So on the Monday or Tuesday? All right. Um, I'm over here on their official news page. So, uh, Flora Belt, Blooming Maiden. So I'm not really gonna take a look at her, like I, I guess her background character. Um, we are trying to see what her kit actually does. So there are a lot of information as far as the detail of the character. So I know there are people that are, you know, kind of into the allure of the AFK journey. So that's definitely a good way to read on that. So, okay, so that's kind of like the sprite of the character when they're designing her. Looking pretty good. So she is a gentle teacher. Okay. That's uh, that's the academy. Jade Lake Academy. Okay. Okay, that's kind of that's kind of cool. All right. Oh, there they are. The Bell Sprites. The, okay. The origin of the Bell Sprites. So three companions that affectionately know as the Sleepy Head, the Mischief Maker, and a Dark Yeah, sure. Sure thing. All right. And then we also do have some character design for them. <laughs> Look at them. They're like three musty tears. Look at that. That's crazy. It reminds me of that one meme where... You know, you have two that are serious and then you have one goofy one. So these two are serious and then you have one that are like goofy ass looking. Okay. Oh, sure. Sure, sure, sure. So this is like the ultimate pounding blow. At the start of the battle, Flora Bell summons a spear wielding bell spread to assist her while Kessler ultimate Flora Bell summons a powerful hammer wielding bell sprouts dealing high damage and knocking enemy into an area into the space with a powerful AOE attacks and control effects ooh and control effects huh oh so we do have you know numerous characters that can inflict control effects we have like carolina we have aiden so those are good options i guess if you want to pair her up with so you can just kind of consistently control the enemy 
that's kind of cool all right so yeah um it's talking about that she's gonna be a great option to make that crowd control formation so that's pretty nice and then this is some of her skill we have an overgrow Feast is snack to the bell sprites with the highest attack. Uh, well, what do you mean the highest attack? So, this is do they have different attack stats from those three bell sprouts? Um, and then it enlarges and grind, granting a powerful buffs for a limited duration. Don't under um, don't underestimate the skills. It can deal significant damage to enemies in many battle or combat situation. Okay. Uh, from the enemy, I think we'll we we'll take a look at this and then we'll go back into the animation just to give it one more analysis of it. But that's kind of that's kind of interesting. So I think we can see that with that skill. So this uh, bell sprout is definitely a little bit bigger than this one over here. So and then it does have those buff symbol as well. So we will take a look at it in just a little bit. All right. So this is the other skill, tiny sharpshooter. So she's able to summon a shorter version. So I'm seeing that right over here. And then if there is one existing on the field, it talks about that it's gonna unleash a burst of arrow hitting enemy with multiple shots in a short amount of time. This skill gives uh, for about a decent range attack capability. Hmm. What do you mean only decent? So is she? Is she not a ranged character or is she kind of like a close combat, like a one range? It's kind of interesting right there then. And then there's also a protective blessing. Um, this is going to be a passive skill right there. Grants a permanent shield to ally summons. Um, does that mean like a, like just to to a, like ally? I'm, I'm assuming that that's the case. Uh, okay, she seems pretty versatile then. She can shield, she can summon multiple minions on her side to make the battlefield a little bit more chaotic. Um, I'm gonna watch this one last time just to see what's going on. Um, since we kind of read up on what the effect does, so I want to see those skills once again. Overgrown, okay. Yeah, so looks like this one is definitely this one over here getting the buffs. Okay, and then the sharpshooter. Oh, is that is that what they meant by if there's already one on the field, you can do a lot of shot within a short duration. Okay, um, I definitely wonder what are the like the stats, right? That's the pound. Oh yeah, <laughs> they're stunned right there. <laughs> GG. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so they didn't talk about the duration of those stunnings and stuff or whatnot. So those are definitely gonna be in game once it's actually in, right? So we can definitely take a closer look after that. And last thing we do need to mention, this is gonna be a limited time rate up. So given how the character has been right now, like most of the character right now, you can either buy or you have to summon with a few exceptions you have to summon for. Um, so I do wonder going forward how like they are going to deal with this character we get so far from you know the early testing server into like the launch of the global side of it, like the official release uh most of those character has been you know you can either get them for free or you can grind them up either some other fashion right or exchange with them so i do wonder since this is actually the very first new character dropping since the release since the testing server or whatever uh it's gonna be very interesting how their approach would be um so starting on the 16th until may 10th is gonna be the banner period um i'm gonna definitely see if i can at least summon at least one copy so we can start trying out but i'm pretty sure once we get into the legendary plus skills like the mystic skill um it's gonna be somewhat of a skill that enhances what the other previous skills are doing like the tiny sharpshooter uh we have the overgrown so it's gonna be magnifying what they're already doing so i do have some expectation for them to be really busted in some form some form of ways uh but other than that you guys definitely let me know how excited are you guys for this new character flora belt uh she seems pretty good um the control effects is obviously pretty um uh, pretty good for sure um but we just have to wait into a game like once it's in game we can take take a look at it in this uh, full entirety uh but other than that that's going to be pretty much it for me and i'll be catching you guys on the next one